Hey, what's going on guys? This is your boy C. Will, back to you with another video. And man, I got some great stuff to share with you today. We are reviewing the Samsung 970 Evo. And one of the things that we're also going to be doing, we're actually going to be installing the 970 Evo into my Alienware Aurora R7. Uh, but before we get into that video, don't forget to hit like, don't forget to hit subscribe. Definitely hit the bell so you don't miss none of my video uploads. Um, but also, if you would like to support the channel, uh, definitely visit our Patreon page. And hey, you know, that's a great way for you to, uh, to be able to support what we're doing. And I uh, will appreciate you for everything that you do. And let's get into the video. All right, guys. So what we're going to do here, I believe this is the first video of someone if you can see what we got here we got the 970 evo nvme m2 500 gigabyte um, ssd drive and we're going to install this into the dell alienware aurora r7 all right so we're going to go ahead and take these screws off so we got one screw up at the top And actually, that's on the screw we got. I think if we go ahead and hit the latch up here, hit the latch up here, and it should open. Oh, there we go. So that slides, and now this opens up. We're gonna take this off. So one of the things that we've done already, uh, we actually disable the Intel Optane um, SSD drive. Uh, we disabled it um, in the Intel Rapid Storage software. And now what we're gonna do is we actually are going to go ahead and take that out of it. There's only one M.2 slot um, that's on the motherboard. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna remove the Intel um, Optane memory SSD drive. We're gonna remove that and we're gonna replace it with the 970. And so as you can see down here, uh, there are two, two bays for 2.5 inch drives for, and that you can use for SSD drives. And I am actually gonna uh, get some of those later. I've seen some great deals and I'm gonna use those as part of my uh, video editing workflow, scratch disc and, uh, and also for uh, video gaming. But you know, we're gonna get the actual 970 install first and then we'll swing back around and get use up these two spots as well um, but so it's a couple of things we have to do here here's the hard drive that we are going to remove the actual power cables and the, uh, and the SATA cable from uh, so because what we're going to do is once we install the uh, the Samsung 970 drive we're going to make sure that we're going to do a fresh install of Windows um, and we're gonna make sure it boots up and everything is working first and then we'll go ahead and plug this back in and we'll repartition the hard drive. The M.2 drive is actually right here. So it's behind the graphics card. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and turn this on this side and, um, and let's get ready to take that out. All right guys, so what we're gonna have to do here, this is the my GTX 1070 graphics card. And uh, right down here is the uh, the M.2 uh, uh, spot that we have to install our new SSD drive in and we have to remove the Intel Optane memory. So we're gonna have to uh, take off the bracket here and then what we're gonna do is actually unplug uh, the power cable to the graphics card, lift this out of here, then we can have access to the slot. So just be careful, make sure that you have your screws and everything that you need. And, uh, and let's go ahead. So what we've done so far, um, I went ahead and had to remove the power supply and set it over to the side. Um, I had to go ahead and pull out this bracket. And as you can see here, uh, this system is water cooled. Uh, this CPU sits up under here. 
Um, it has a pretty cool um, Alienware logo right here. It's a closed loop system, so the liquid never has to be changed. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and lift up out the graphics card right here. Okay, don't forget to hit the clip. We're gonna push that back down real quick. And we're gonna make sure that we push the clip back. We gotta pull it up out now. Go. And be real careful with your gear guys this right here is the drive that we're going to remove this is the intel optane memory it has a very very small screw so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and see if we try to make sure that we do not drop the screw let's see if we can change the type of screwdriver we're using yep there we go And I dropped the screw, guys, which I said exactly not to do. But this right here lifts up, and we're just gonna slide this out gently. And as you can see here, that's just like it's like a stick of gum almost. <laughs> that's the Intel Optane memory. So we're just gonna sit this to the side. We're gonna grab this screw so we don't lose it. And then. Go ahead and open up this bad boy. This package is pretty cool. And another stick of gum. <laughs> so all we gotta do is we're just gonna slide this in the same way that we took it out. Slide it in. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the screw, and this is the tough part. We're gonna take the screw and try not to drop it, which I almost just did. And I know, guys, it's kind of tight. Let's see if I can sit this down with my finger first. Okay, so I think that worked. And let's just screw that in. So now we have the uh, the Samsung 970 Evo in. So all we have to do now is put all of our parts back. Here's the key. We're going to leave the my one terabyte uh, hard drive. We're going to leave this unplugged for right now. Uh, again, that's a SATA cable, it's a power cable. We're going to leave that unplugged because we want to make sure we got to install Windows and make sure that it boots up properly. And it's a couple of things that we have to change on there. And one key to this is making sure. This is actually placed back in correctly. And I had it upside down. So, major key. <laughs> the fan <laughs> comes out. That could have been tragic. Could have killed my whole system. And didn't know what was happening. this anymore not until we get ready to upgrade our RAM and possibly in the future maybe because see I have an i7 8700 not the K but the K does give more performance it's unlocked um, 
one is definitely a little bit faster. But if I happen to run across one in the future, I will upgrade. So one of the things you need to make sure that you have is, is the USB. And we're gonna boot from the USB because um, on Dale's website, I went ahead and created a recovery USB. So we're gonna do a clean install of Windows onto the new SSD. And i get back with you. And uh, here's the moment of truth. We're gonna go ahead and hit the power button. And um, I'm gonna go ahead and hit F12 so we could be able to get into the BIOS. I'm gonna click, clicking on F12. We got the L up, oh, there we go. All right, so it's a couple of things we need to change here. The device configuration. The non-ray physical disk. So it's recognizing the SSD drive that we have here. One of the things that we need to change is this whole RAID setup. And uh, we just need to find it. And I just exited out. We're gonna hit F12 just to go back into it. Okay. So let's go into bio setup. See, nobody else is actually showing this. So we need to change the RAID mode to AHCI. Advance. Okay, set. Set operation, it says RAID on. We need to ch change this to AHCI. We're taking this off of the RAID mode because the Intel Optane memory, it was kind of set up that way. So we are changing this to AHCI. It says, warning, SATA operation is being changed. Attention, changing this SATA may prevent your operating system from booting or require a reinstall. Are you sure that you would like to continue? Absolutely. And we're gonna take our USB drive that we have here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and plug that in. And it's, are you sure you would like to continue? We're gonna click yes. And we're gonna to go to the boot. So boot option number one, we're gonna go ahead and click on Windows Boot Manager. Okay, so I think that's all we need to change here. Let's go ahead and hit save and exit. And now this should boot directly to the USB stick that we have here. So we're not gonna press any buttons. We're just gonna let this kind of go through its paces and it should recognize the Windows recovery that we set up on here. Support assist OS recovery. Or what we need to do is we need to restore system, restore Windows operating system default applications to the state they were in uh, when your system left the factory. So let's go ahead and click that here. Let's go ahead and hit restore now. And it says cloud restore. This utility restores your operating system and critical application on your system. All personal file system will be permanently deleted. Then this process is going to click other. Next. Okay, so now it only sees because we unplugged the other drive, it only sees the um, our SSD drive, our Samsung SSD 970 Evo. Let's go ahead and click next. And so right now it says that uh, we are currently downloading all necessary content for a cloud restore and we're not making any changes to the computer to all the items are successfully downloaded. So we'll let this go through and we'll come back. All right guys, so verifying the file right now. Uh, we're still in the support assist OS recovery tools doing the cloud restore using the USB recovery disk. And we're gonna see what's gonna come up after this so you have a step-by-step -step guide to doing the same on, on your World R7 or any pretty much Dell line that allows you to be able to do this and, and that supports doing the upgrades to your system. Uh, so we'll come back to you as soon as this is over. Right, so it looks like we ran into a little uh, hiccup here. It says we we are currently unable to connect to the back end. Please check your internet connection. Try again. So uh, let's hit finish, I guess. Oh, come on, son. Okay, so we got to click back on system restore. 
not for sure exactly what happened. We're gonna go ahead and hit restore now again. Uh, cloud restore this shit to the two restores. Okay, so it looks like we might have to download this information again. I don't know what happened. Okay, it sees the hard drive, recommend it, let's click next. Okay, so great thing about it, we don't have to re-download everything again. <laughs> um, it says verifying the file. I think this is where we left off the last time. We had to ditch the original OS um, uh, recovery uh, key. And luckily I have another uh, USB drive. And uh, what we had to do here is actually, um, I had to use my laptop and create just a regular uh, USB installate Windows installation disk uh, from the Windows website. So that's what we have loaded up here. So uh, we're just gonna go ahead and install Windows from scratch. So once uh, Windows is installed on the new SSD drive, what we'll do is go back and download all the drivers um, and the software needed from Dell's website. And since we are installing Windows on the uh, Samsung 970 Evo, um, this should install fairly quick. I would definitely just have a another USB key that just has a Windows ISO on it, just so you could do a fresh install of Windows, download the, the needed drivers after the fact, um, and then keep it moving. Okay, so it looks like I said I was getting devices ready. If this is done with the Windows installation, this is the quickest Windows installation I have ever experienced. So we're just gonna see what's gonna happen here. Oh my goodness. I think this is just install Windows. And this may have been worth the actual two hours and some change. <laughs> oh man. All right guys, so what we're currently doing right now, <clears throat> we are actually um, installing all of the drivers um, Dale's website and uh, of course uh, you have to put your service tag information in and all that good stuff and uh, I could definitely tell that my system is very snappy it's uh, it's fast uh, we actually are going to be doing um, a benchmark you know once I get everything up uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm I'm actually going to reattach my one terabyte hard drive regular hard drive I'm gonna format it. I backed up all my information into my external hard drive. I'm gonna do a couple of restarts just to make sure everything is good. Literally like less than five minutes of Windows installed on here with that drive. I never seen anything like that before and uh, it's freaking amazing. All right guys, so what we have here, we just got done uh, installing all of the drivers. So what we need to do is reconnect the power cable and the SATA cable back to our one terabyte hard drive. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and go through the actual reformatting process. Um, so let's put the screws back in. Let's put the side back on. All right, so we are starting the system back up. And here, if you go to my computer, or you may say this PC, uh, but as long as you get to the point where you can be able to uh, see your actual um, hard drive. And if you click on properties of the hard drive that we need to reformat and once you go to format, you're gonna see some information here. Uh, this basic information uh, default, and you go ahead and run a quick format. And now what we see in here, uh, just a few quick benchmarks. You can see the before, and now that's the after. And man, it's fast. All right, guys, thank you for watching the video all the way through. I hope you enjoyed what we were showing you here today. And hey, I got a full review of the Aurora R7 Alienware system uh, coming up real soon. If you uh, got any questions or you had any comments about this step-by-step -step tutorial for installing the Samsung 970 Evo, definitely uh, just hit me in the comments, uh, shoot me an email. I have that information available in the description and I'll talk to you soon.